So let's assume you have a SwiftUI view like this one where you want to pass a string or really any other kind of value from your parent view, which in this example is just a preview, into your view in order to use it in your body. So the naive approach would be to create a let constant with that variable and then you can pass it via the initializer. There is actually a way easier way and uh, if you imagine that you might want to use this user id string in a sub view of this view as well then of course you would have to pass it on every single time now the easier approach is to create an extension on the swift ui environment where you can just draw this user id value or anything else from the environment and use it way further down the view hierarchy so let's do that let's create an extension on environment values and this used to be a tedious process prior to iOS 18, but we now have the at entry SwiftUI macro. So we'll use that macro at entry, and then we can just declare a variable and the autocomplete here is already quite helpful. So we just create our uh, variable with the name user ID. We say it's gonna be of type string, and then we have to provide a default value. So in our case, we will say the default value is no user ID, and of course you can filter uh, that in your um, uh, child views and of course you could also make this optional and turn it into or turn it nil uh, by default but in our case this will suffice and of course you could also just not show the view if there is no user id so um, this is just how you create your new environment value so how do you use it first of all you, let's get rid of this um, constant here and instead we will say at environment and then we can use the key path to our newly created user ID. And we can create a variable called user ID just like that. And now we were able to grab this value from the environment. And then as always, we're gonna use it inside of our body in some sort of fashion. Now in our, our preview, which is of course just a proxy for the parent view of this, we can get rid of the parameter in our initializer and instead, so if we have a look at the um, preview now, you can see that it says user ID, no user ID, and that's because that's the default value and we didn't override the environment. So now in our parent view, in our containing view, we can just use the dot environment view modifier and specify that we want to modify the user ID and it should be flow dash 01. And now you will see that that value gets passed into the environment, which then gets extracted in our environment entry view and then gets shown in the body. So you can of course now also pass this into a um, child view of uh, the view that you're attaching the modifier to and you don't have to do anything. Every view that's inside of this hierarchy here can now extract this value from the environment just like that. If you found this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you subscribed to my channel and I will see you in the next one.